The Backbone of Lightroom Classic – Collections Collections are hands down the most important feature inside Lightroom if you are working with one big catalog, for example. And today I want to demonstrate how you can work with collections and I will start right now inside Lightroom. So if I'm here inside Lightroom, you will see that I have just folders and on the left side underneath you see the collections. And here they are just the basic, the standard smart collections with all the smart collections right there. But I don't want to use smart collections right now. What I want to do is to create a collection, yeah, let's say backbone for Lightroom and to have more size over here, I will minimize the navigator and so I can work with the collections easy. Okay, and first of all, I want to create a collection set and this collection set is 070 projects. And inside projects, I want to create a sub collection set for the project Victoria. So I right click on project and click on create collection set again. And because I started on the projects collection set, Lightroom will create the new collection set inside the collection set projects. And this is Victoria. And I create this set. And now I have the projects and the Victoria set. And inside the Victoria set, I will right click and create a collection. Because inside collection sets, you can't sort or put in images. You have to create a collection and therein you can put all your images. And in this, or well, the first collection inside uh, the Victoria collection set should be an all images collection. Why I create an all images collection, I will show this later. I don't want to create or include all the selected images because it's just one image selected. And now you see inside my collection set projects, I have the collection set Victoria and here I have the collection all images. And because it's called all images, I want to go inside the folder Victoria, press on command A and now by dragging on the thumbnail, it's crucial to drag on the thumbnail because if you press here on the frame, you can't uh, drag and drop, drop the images. But if you create or if you take it on the thumbnail, you can drag and drop all your images inside your collection set, all images. Right now you have in my case 249 images in my folder and 249 images in my collection, all images. So these two are identical. But as mentioned before, I will demonstrate why this is crucial to work in this way. Okay, next of all, I want to create a new collection and this is the first selection. So when I go through all my images and I will create my pick or my pook um, workflow and I will create my pics, then I want to have all the pics, so the images with the white flag inside my first selection. But to drag and drop all these images here inside my first selection is a little bit tedious. So it's great to have a filter applied, so library filter, attribute, and now I want to have the filter attribute just deflect images. And because that's, that's a really uh, often used filter, I can create a template, save current setting as new filter preset, and this is O. 1.0 picks and if I have none I have a new uh, filter so save current setting as a new preset and this is 0, 0, 0, none because now I can just go here and go to the picks or go to none or I can even go and say I want to have my rejected images so I create a new set and that's 0.1.1 rejected and so I can really fast select the filters I need and in this case I want to have all my picks so command A and just via drag and drop drag and drop the images here over to your first selection and now you see I have 49 images inside my first selection and now a really important point the picks or the flags in general are just a tool to work or to do something for you. And in my case, I want to create the first selection with the picks. 
After that, I don't need the flags anymore because the images that were flagged are right now in my first selection, yeah, uh, collection. So I can now unpick all my images because I want to have the flags for another work. Just select every image inside my collection and press on U for unpick and now my flags are removed but the images are still in the first collection. Why is this crucial? Because now I can create a new collection and let's say this is a black and white collection. So that's empty right now. And now I want to select all the images from my first collection where I think they could be cool in black and white. So I just go to these images over here. Yeah, that's a cool one for sure. So P for pick. Then scroll down a little bit more. Yeah, this one, P for pick. P for pick. P for pick. And this one, and maybe that one. So now I have inside my first selection a few images with a um, flag. So I can go again to my filters and just filter for attribute flags picked and just select all of these images and drag and drop them to my black and white uh, collection. And now the same as before, I can just unpick all these images so that I have no flags on it because the flags were right now the tool to select for black and white. Okay, and now it's important to get in, in your brain. That's an important one. When I now press on V, all these images get uh, treated in black and white, so I have black and white images. But the problem is that these images are not just black and white inside the black and white collection. These images are everywhere black and white because Lightroom just has this image one time on the hard drive inside the Victoria folder in my case. And this image or these images I just um, selected to be black and white are now black and white everywhere. So let's see how this is looking like and let's see how you can fix it. So I will go to the uh, folder via a right click and now I can go to show in finder and no, not inside the finder. I want to show it in the library. Go to folder in the library and here you see this image is right now black and white. But the problem is that this image isn't just inside the black and white folder. This image, when I press on this small icon, is also inside my collection all images, inside my collection first selection, and inside my collection black and white. So inside the first selection, when I go to there, you see this image is black and white also, but I don't want to have the image black and white over here. And the solution for the thing, or for this problem, let's say it in this way, is that I go to the black and white collection, select all images and press on V again so that they are not uh, black and white anymore. And now I want to have these images exclusively in this black and white collection. And this you can do by right clicking over here and just create virtual copies. So when I press on virtual copies, now I see you have a virtual copy inside your black and white collection. By the edit menu, you can invert the selection now all the other images are selected and these images can be deleted with the backspace key out of your black and white collection. So there are some few activities that are really crucial to understand. First of all, I will select all the six images and press on V so I have black and white images again. And now see what, what changes. In my first selection, you see there are all the images right now in color as they were before. In my black and white collection, I have black and white images. And in my folder, you will see I have my originals, let's call it in this way. This image is in the all images collection and in the first selection. And the virtual copy next to it is just inside my black and white collection. And the cool thing is here inside the folder, you have right now 255 images but in my all images collection I have the original 249 images and therein inside my all images there are no black and white images so these black and white images are just inside my collection black and white 
and for sure inside my folder because my folder is more or less a dumping place for all my images and the logical structure of my project is here inside my collections. So I have all my images, the original images, I have the first selection out of my all images and I have my black and white collection over here with black and white images as a virtual copy. And what I can do again is to create a new collection. Let's say Instagram one by one. I create this collection over here. And now I want to have some one by one images. And I go to the first selection and let's see which one of these could be nice as squared images. So let's say this one for example, and maybe this one. And I will take a third one again. Well, let's take this one. So here again, these images are not just inside this collection, this Instagram collection, they're also, or maybe they're also in other collections. So again, Command T, right click and create virtual copies, edit, invert selection, delete the originals. And here I can select all these images, press on R and go to one by one. Just take the first image, and crop it, command right on the cursors, like this squared image. I will give it over here. And this also squared one, just crop a little bit tighter on this image right now. And go back to the selection, select all, press on the N key. And so I have these three squared images inside of this collection. Inside my folders, I have three new images or three new virtual copies. And so I have 258 images in this folder, but still all the original images are 249 images in this collection. And when I now export for a client or export for Instagram or something else, I know exactly which folder included which images and what I have done with all of these images. So here you see collections are really a crucial part inside Lightroom. So think of the, all the projects you will do from now on or all the projects you have done in the past. And when you have collection sets, collections, different uses of collections, you know exactly which images have been uh, used for what and what you have done to your images in general. So if you like this, give me a like. If you have questions or if you have another idea how you are working with collections, leave a comment below. I would really love to hear what you are doing with collections. And if you are not a subscriber, please press on the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something new today and I will see you in the next movie.